Hello guys and welcome to a special log and today for the special video we are doing the unboxing I sound super excited because I'm very excited My order for Digimon Pendulum Color has finally arrived and we have got all three of them here And for today's video we are going to do an unboxing of all three models But I will also be uh, showcasing some of the basic features of the Digimon Pendulum Color and how to use it and uh, with these basic features and understanding you'll be able to raise your virtual pet on your digimon pendulum color and of course i won't have to showcase all three because uh, the features are the same it's just that the rosters are slightly different across all three so before i continue with today's video i just have to say welcome for those who are here in my channel for the first time if you're a fan of digimon or raising virtual pets you've come to the right channel because this channel focuses on raising digimon and i upload at least twice a week and when I say I focus on raising Digimon, I document every Digimon that I raise. And when I say every, I mean every. So I've raised all the Digimon on Digimon Color version 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And I've documented every single one of them. Like every Digimon's uh, eating, you know, uh, eating vitamins, training, battling, pooping. Okay, maybe not pooping, sleeping. And I also cover some of its profile that you can read up on uh, Wikimon or the Digimon.net because there are some interesting details in them and I find it interesting. So I'm a little bit um, of a fanatic that way. I like to capture everything <laughs> and document everything um, and every Digimon that I raise. And I've also done an advanced guide for version 1 to 5 because you know if you're just raising the virtual pet randomly and just seeing what kind of Digimon you get, that's fine. But sometimes every if you want to raise every single Digimon or you want to raise a specific Digimon, you need to achieve a very specific evolution condition, uh, which means that you need a certain number of care mistakes or a certain number of training and battles, then the advanced tips guide will be very useful. And that's how I got, th that's mainly my mantra that allowed me to raise every single Digimon on version one to five. So I've done that and uh, aside from that, I also have my main series of raising Digimon on Vital Bracelet. So those who have been following my Vital Bracelet series, don't worry. Um, at the time of recording this video, I'm still midway through my Ryudamon and Dorumon Dim. I'm going to finish that before I continue with my Digimon Pendulum Color. But what it also means is that if you have been looking forward to the log that comes from Digimon Pendulum Color, I will have to finish the Dorumon and Ryudamon documentation series before I continue with my Digimon Pendulum Color. But don't worry, I'm a completionist. I'm crazy that way. I will document everything. So it will all come just eventually, right? So I'm midway through this. I will finish up Do Dorumon and Ryudamon. There's a whole backlog of videos. And once I'm done with those, I will move on in about a month's time from this video to documenting these beautiful sprites on every single device every digimon that is available i think each device has about 32 characters all of them will be documented every single one of them right so if you're interested and you're interested to see someone go crazy and document every digimon sprite in a video format then you've come to the right place you can see i have about 400 other videos on the vital bracelet <laughs> i have uh that's on the Vital Bracelet. I have another 200 videos on the Vital Bracelet BE because there are that many Digimon has been released on these devices. Um, there are about 90 plus videos on the Digimon Color as well because there are about 90 plus Digimon released on version 1 to 5. So um, also after I'm done with the Pendulum Color, I have not forgotten these. I have not gotten to these. So after I'm done with the Digimon Pendulum Color, I will get to these dim as well. And these uh, dims will also be documented. Every Digimon that's here, I will raise them. I will document them one by one. So yeah, that's just a hobby that I've developed. So I'm going to do that. Anyway, uh, time to move on to the unboxing uh, for those who have been waiting. Uh, but before that, I just have to say a quick shout out to Zenin. I've been getting my devices from them. They are super cool and they also gave me a Dorumon card. So that's cool. It's a foil Dorumon card. This is not part of the unboxing. I just want to take a look at the Dorumon card that they gave. Oh, that's nice. At the time of recording this video as well, uh, they have just announced um, the Digivice color evolution. And the crazy guy that I am, I ordered the models and I ordered them through Zenin. They were really fast to put up the pre-orders and I've ordered them. So 
great. I'm just gonna wait for those. And although they are not technically virtual pets, uh, they are digivice, but I'm still willing to document it because it just looks so cool and there's so much nostalgia in them. Um, because that's the era that I grew up in, you know, Digimon Adventure, the OG. So, uh, speaking about nostalgia, this is nostalgia. This is a big nostalgia blast for me. Let's go. Unboxing this means so much to me because um, this model, uh, Digimon Pendulum 1 Nature Spirits, is literally the first virtual pet I got as a kid. So when I was a kid, um, all the kids around me had virtual pets. I, had, I didn't have any until much later. So I had to borrow my friend's Digimon to play, but I never really owned one until about one year uh, of it being released in my country in Singapore and my dad finally bought me one and the first one that he bought me was the nature spirits and the box looks exactly like this oh, I like to peel off the tape I don't like to cut them so um, I'm also a bit OCD that way uh, they, the box looks exactly the same they, they recreated it of course you didn't have the color back then but I remember the design and you know the sides, the the Digimon that they place. Of course, uh, it's, it was Tanto one I remember, and of course it was not in color. It was black and white. Um, and yeah, the Jogress uh, example here was different as well. I can't remember who it was, uh, but definitely not the two Megas because this is something new. And yeah, the box looks like this. They have the Digimon wet, but more or less, this is a blast of memories for me. I remember getting so excited when I get to open this box. Unfortunately. Yeah, uh, this is my Digimon Pendulum version 1 that I got and back then um, Digimon Pendulum when they first released it uh, they always had two corresponding colors grey blue and grey black and grey black was the one I got and you can see this has seen better times like you know, the chain is gone as a kid you know sometimes you wish you could turn back time and actually keep them in better condition but yeah this was the original device I got during Christmas so I had this uh, during Christmas, I also had a version 1 for my uncle. So version 1 wasn't as impressive as the version 1 pendulum. Uh, I played the pendulum more, naturally. Uh, but I still raised some uh, Digimon on the virtual uh, version 1 that I received from my uncle. But the one for my dad, that was, that was fun. That was fun. And I had lots of fun with the Nature Spirits and I'm just about to open it. It's just the box is a little resistant. Uh, to opening. Let me just pause the video here. Alright, that was a bit of a struggle. I had to pause the video there, but I just want to make sure that I didn't damage the packaging. It was not easy to open the flap below, but I managed to get it out. And here we have the Digimon Pendulum version 1 Nature Spirits. Yes, it looked exactly like this. Oh, the box is still great. It's so sturdy. I really like it. And this time I'm going to keep the box. I totally regret not keeping the box when I was young. Never knew the value of such things. So after that, uh, I learned my lesson. I have this Digimon Pendulum 20th, just a digression here. And obviously I kept the box because by then I was an adult and I understand how important it is to somehow keep the packaging even if you have opened a device because sometimes it still looks nice when you want to keep it back in this box. So that's, um, I, I've learned my lesson. I'm going to keep the packaging nice. Uh, when you open up, you'll get uh, the manual. Uh, the manual looks like this, but you can actually scan the QR code at the back of the box to get a more uh, fun looking manual. So uh, if you scan this, if I remember correctly, or this, uh, one of these, you actually get the uh, specific toy uh, manual, uh, which is in color. Makes sense because it's Digimon color. It should be in color. Uh, but you can also open up and check out the black and white uh, guide if you want here. Um, it comes with the USB cable as well. So this is for charging. Uh, recommended your usual uh, phone chargers that is like, you know, uh, one ampere should work fine. Otherwise, it's better to just charge it to your uh, computer USB port. So your USB port in your computer, just put it there, plug it in. You know, if you're at work, if you don't mind your colleagues judging you, you can you always charge your Digimon there um, or next to your laptop. So, uh, this is the Pendulum version 1. So, yeah, this looks so cool. This looks so cool. All right, this is how it looks like. Okay, I'm just gonna go on to unbox the remaining two and then we will start to boot them up to see how awesome they look. 
So we're just gonna unbox all of them. We're gonna do all the unboxing. So um, let me do some tape removal here and do a lot of talking. So uh, do a lot of talking. So I was talking about the color variants earlier. So uh, deep savers. Uh, the original two colors that were available was blue orange, right, which is what we see here on the Digimon color. And you have a uh, blue case with grey uh, buttons and frames. So that was the other one, which is, I, I don't own that combination. My cousin used to have one. So now I have the OG blue and orange and I have the color blue and orange. Unfortunately, we don't have the blue uh, case with the grey buttons. Just a theory though, um, just a theory. I'm not sure if uh, eventually uh, they might release a different color set for our Digimon Pendulum series because aside from um, two color variants, right, that was the color for uh, the, the normal model. So what I mean by that, uh, back then um, in the 1990s when it was, uh, when they released Nature Spirits version 1, they also released a version 1.5. Every single Digimon Pendulum had a 0.5 equivalent so it's kind of like a mini upgrade so just a bit of a digression here um, for example wind guardians here this is green and brown as you can see and of course not in a great condition um, but you see here there is another one with a clear casing so this is 4.5 so it has a almost identical roster to version 4 except it has another evolution line that is new so it's kind of like an upgrade and the case looks different. It looks cooler. It has this clear touch to it. It's transparent. And um, it also comes with clear green, yellow or clear green, brown. So technically each version had like four color combinations. You have the solid opaque uh, case with uh, two, two, two color combinations on these buttons and uh, frame. And you also had a clear version, which is, uh, which is the color for com um, for the 0.5 version so my cousin actually had the deep savers 2.5 so that was cool he had the clear blue and gray frame and gray buttons okay in my of me nerding off and um not moving on with the unboxing let's continue with the unboxing so yeah I, i'm just guessing that if they were to do because they did do this uh, special color editions for version 1 to 2 version 1 and 2 for digimon color that I, i'm not sure if they will do it eventually right for Nature Spirits, Deep Savers, and Nightmare Soldiers as well. Maybe we'll get the 0.5 variants with a different button and frame, right? So, uh, Deep Savers, same thing. You have the manual, you have the wire, and of course you have the device itself. So this is Rukamon, also known as Dolphmon. I like Rukamon better. Um, so this is the device, and we're going to boot it up. Uh, just to see the silhouette so when you put it up it looks different from uh, the original device the device originally when you put it up it gives you a Bandai logo so um, here you probably don't get a Bandai logo uh, yeah you don't uh, it's a silhouette and we'll see what silhouette they are and we'll test some of the buttons just to make sure that the device itself is working not that there'll be any warranty or exchanges honestly but just want to make sure that I'm not disappointed when I need to do my log because uh, I'm I will be so excited to raise the Digimon and if the buttons don't work uh, that would be disappointing anyway uh, peeling off this tape and for Nightmare Soldiers that's version 3 as you can see I have I happen to have the corresponding other color so this is red and black but in the original release you had red and black as well as red and blue so that's the one that I have um, yeah, and it's in slightly better condition. It has a chain. Uh, and there we go. We have opened the box. It's not easy to open it, but now I'm a little more confident that I can open it without damaging the packaging. I'm going to put all these back eventually, but I'm just doing the unboxing now. And we have the sheet. We have the USB cable. That's great. Going to set it down here. And going to set the device down. Going to take out this casing. And we'll start booting them up. This is so exciting. All right, and let's start with the first device that I ever owned, um, Nature Spirits. It's not in this color combination, but I always like this actually. Um, but that didn't give me a choice. He just 
give me the grey and black. Not complaining, I'm very ex very happy and I know that most kids didn't even get to own a virtual pet but I, I get to own one. So yeah, but now just gonna boot it up. There we go. Oh, look at that. that, that the silhouette is basically the titular Digimon that is on the box itself. So whatever you see on the box, that Triceramon, that is the silhouette of uh, that's featured here. Um, let's go on to Deep Savers and see that silhouette there. Uh, it will be Rukamon because Rukamon is the titular Digimon. So we see Rukamon's uh, silhouette there. Just gonna test the buttons a little. All right, I know A, B and all that is working. So that's fine. We're not gonna start that up, uh, unfortunately because I can't raise three virtual pets and document all three at once. That would be crazy. Uh, I'm gonna do them sequentially. So, um, let's see who is this silhouette. We have Wizamon, of course, because Wizamon was already on the box. Just gonna test the buttons. The buttons feel great. They feel great to touch. They're so nice. Oh my goodness, this is great. Oh, it feels so nice. The response is great. This is just how it's like on the... Uh, on the Digimon color. So uh, just to put it back, uh, because I'm not gonna hatch an egg, uh, if you press this reset button, it'll just go away. Yeah, you just go into that reset mode. And of course, I will switch it off later. I uh, can just use this. Yeah, so there's a easy way to press the small little button here. Instead of using a pencil, I just use the keychain here and that's a trick that I used to do. Uh, it's probably designed that way. I don't know if that is meant to be pressed that way, but I, I happen to use it this way. <laughs> just using the chain itself. So yeah, just switching it back and I'm gonna boot up this little guy. And this will also be the inaugural uh, log for my Nature Spirits here uh, because I'll be hatching Pabumon and Pabumon is the first Digimon on Nature Spirits and uh, it'll, be, it'll be its log. Yeah, we'll capture all the animation that we want here. So uh, without further ado, let's boot it up and see how it goes. So um, let's say we set a time nine o'clock it's obviously not nine o'clock here but let's just go oh and we have to quickly shake uh, I hope it's a hundred times uh, the reason why I'm shaking like a crazy guy right now is because within this one minute if you are able to obtain a hundred shakes on the Digimon pendulum your Digimon in that uh, that the hatches from this Digitama will have a bonus stats of 10 um yeah for the rest of its life until it passes away and until it becomes an egg again so you just gotta keep shaking until it hatches i'm pretty sure by doing this you will be able to get um 100 yeah and also shake this way don't shake um uh another direction it's supposed to be yeah the way i'm shaking now um the video can barely capture how quickly i'm shaking yeah, but that's how hard I am trying to obtain the 100 shakes. I'll show you if I manage to do it. Alright, it's hatching. And I hope I manage to do it. There's no indication on whether you were successful. So you just have to hope that you manage to do it. I'm gonna, The first thing I'm going to do is... Okay, maybe I can just feature the sound. But uh, maybe just a quick tip. If it's too loud, and I find it too loud, just press this and you'll turn off the sound. Right. Another way to handle the sound, I'll just showcase the settings because this is not shown anywhere on this menu, is to hold C and you access settings. The great thing about this is that Digimon Pendulum Color is in English. So unlike the Digimon Color version 1 to 5, those are in Japanese, the Digimon Pendulum Color is in English. So background, BG is background. Brightness, I like to set it to 1. As you can see, the colors improved on the video. So it's a lot better for your viewing as well you can see the background clearly and the digimon um, i like to set sound to the softest because it's just too loud right and i have a baby sleeping right now i have a child sleeping not a baby she's a toddler now and the last one is power off right so these are quite straightforward background i want to feature this i love this landscape this is super nostalgic this is like the i don't know what this this is like a swamp i call it a swamp maybe it's not it's just too bad to call it swamp. It looks like a lake, lakeside maybe. So this lakeside uh, picture is great. It's very nostalgic, but I like this. Check this out. For those who know, you know. This is basically a reference and call to Digimon World. This is Digimon's house. Except with some subtle differences you can see at the back. 
Instead of the original OG Digital Monsters device hanging on the wall, you have the Digimon Pendulum. And you can see even that that's the blue Deep Savers device I was talking about with grey buttons that we currently don't have. But that's featured on Digimon's wall. So that's super cool, eh? Um, that's background and that's a settings menu. Um, the first thing you want to do, poor guy has been calling me to feed him. The reason you see this call button icon at the side is because he's hungry. And you can check your stats of your Digimon by going to... By pressing the first button, you will navigate across the different options. But pressing A and let's press B to see the status. Press B again to see the status and you can see whether it's hungry. You can press A or B to cycle through. It doesn't matter. But its hunger is empty, its strength is empty. Effort! Right. Effort is a meter that you fill up by training. So the more you train, the higher the effort. So this effort meter is very useful for you to track how much you've trained and your evolution will vary based on your effort meter. So the harder you train, the, the evolutions will turn out to be different. Um, but of course, there's another permutation that comes into play, condition. So condition is interesting because we didn't have this on the original devices. It's basically care mistakes meaning the number of times you have let your Digimon starve for too long until the call button disappears. When the call button disappears, you have made a care mistake. And in this case, they have called it condition, meaning the condition is worsened. All right, just nice, it is just pooped. So let me just quickly feature, oh yeah, I can feature the poop feature um, function later. But yeah, um, if you let him starve for too long, you make a con uh, care mistake. There are many ways to make care mistakes such as um, not feeding it when it's hungry, not training it when it needs strength, not feeding a protein when it needs strength. To, to increase protein, you have two ways. You can either train or you can feed it protein. I'll show you later. Um, but yeah, basically not taking care of it will worsen its condition, basically. Uh, not turning off the lights when it wants to sleep, that's another way. And usually it's recorded the moment the call icon goes out. So once the call icon goes out, you know that it's a it is basically recorded, right? The mistake is recorded, right? It, it bears a grudge, yeah. So, um, after condition, you have DP. It has no DP now because it is not capable of battle. Um, but DP is what you use to battle. The good thing is, compared to the original Digimon Pendulum, DP is, uh, on the original Pendulum, DP is needed for jogressing, and we'll talk about jogressing later. But uh, here, uh, DP is not required for jogressing. You can have zero DP and you can still jogress. So DP is purely for battling and it's also not used for training. So that's great. You know, last time you have a limit on how much you can train because as you train, your DP will start depleting as well. But this time, uh, training does not deplete DP. So that's great. Um, type BX, JX looks confusing, but basically type if Next to type, there should be a attribute, basically vaccine, virus, or data. This to indicate to you if you're not aware what type your Digimon is. And it's a scissors, paper, stone kind of function. Vaccine wins virus, virus wins data, data wins vaccine. So um, not all Digimon are all powerful. So if you have a vaccine, very powerful mega, it can be defeated by a data mega, right? So that keeps the balance in check. Um, BX, JX is battle and J is Jogress. So if you have X means it's unable to battle and it's unable to Jogress. If you have O, it means that it can battle and it can uh, Jogress, you know, if it has a circle next to J. So it's just talking about whether it's capable of battling or Jogressing. So this is super nostalgic. I've seen this screen so much and I really enjoyed playing it. Oh. And you have a battle counter as well. So you, it counts the number of battles you have fought and the percentage. But if I'm not mistaken, this is a cumulative count. So each of your evolution requires new battles. Uh, after you evolve from champion to ultimate, um, from ultimate to mega, you need a new set of 15 battles. So you can't use your cumulative count. Uh, you have to keep track basically. So if you have fought 15, you need to have fought, you know, 30 battles, right? To, 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 to meet the evolution requirements. So that's going into too much details, um, but basically this is how you keep track of your stats of your Digimon. Uh, if you're just playing casually, just play for fun and don't bother about what are your evolution conditions and just see what kind of Digimon you raise, this should be good enough understanding. Um, let's talk about album. This is a new feature, but this basically showcases which Digimon you have raised so far. So 
the more you raise, uh, yeah, you will, you will have these profiles here. So that's a cool thing. It also gives you a, it gives the completionist a, another sense of uh, achievement as well. The bit of dopamine uh, dose here every time you look at the album being filled up, and for sure. This entries will, all these entries will be completed because I'm going to document everything that I raised and I'm going to raise every single Digimon on this device. All right, let's get down to feeding him. He must be starving. Um, this is how you feed him. This is the meat, right? And he, oh, you can't you can't see that you can't see him eating. So let's 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 wash that poop. Um, let's feature the poop function. It's quite straightforward by just oh this this chime is so nostalgic. So that was the the washing of the poop. I just washed the poop. So now you can see him on the screen, and he's happy. Let's feed him a piece of meat again. Um, so that's him eating. That's two pieces. You can feed three pieces. And when you feed four, after a while you realize that um, he doesn't want to eat because it's too full. This is protein. So uh, protein also increases strength. So as you can see, his hunger meter is full right now, but his strength is only filled by one because I fed him one protein. Effort is still zero because I have not trained him. So by feeding him protein, you do increase strength, but you don't increase um, the effort because you have not trained him. So that's a consideration when you think about whether to feed protein to increase strength or whether to train him. And also take note, um, for now, his weight stays at 5G because it's a baby. But once he evolves past this stage, every piece of meat you feed him, he's going to increase his weight by one. Every protein you feed him, he'll increase his weight by two. So just take note of that. If you feed too much and his weight reaches 99 grams, or 99 grams, 99 giga not grams, 99 giga, he will fall sick. So please take note of that. All right, training. Training is very straightforward. Um, it's very interesting and I like this because finally, they are a lot more transparent in their algorithm. So on the original Digimon Pendulum, you just have to shake like crazy. And in fact, to be precise, you have a magic number for each Digimon. They have to memorize and know that okay maybe this is like nine times and only when you shake exactly nine times you will get a mega hit but this time oh he pooped again um and this time they did a different system so basically you have a range so there's a, a number of uh shakes that you need to achieve to get a mega hit and the the it's this range is not too hard to determine because the device literally tells you how many times you need to shake through color coding so you see here you see the ready screen is in red. It means that I need to shake till I see red. So this is red. It means that you need to get red. I just need to shake. Do you see that the count is shake, changing color? So I got yellow. So that's not good enough, right? I will not get a mega hit as you can see. So that's a super hit tree. He's happy, but it's not the perfect training record. So I need to get red. It means I need to shake more. The color changes as you shake more. You see, I obtain red here, and it will be a mega hit, right? So awesome! That's basically your telltale sign. Oh, it has evolved. That's cool. That's cool. But I was intending to still document Pabumon honestly in this log. But let's consider it completed. All right, that's how it looks like. Let's consider it completed, Pabumon. We have Mojimon on the device. It's not my intent. It took so long to explain all these features. Um, once again, um, when it, now Mojimon also requires the red color when you uh, trade, but it's not always red. So, um, for example, a virus Digimon, if I'm not mistaken, requires uh, yellow and uh, yeah requires blue sorry and a data Digimon requires yellow and then a vaccine Digimon requires red you don't have to memorize it there's a table and there's a table circulating and people manage to get a data mine the information out so you can refer to that data mine but honestly I would just refer to the screen here it's just right in front of you so whatever ready the, the, the color is on ready if it shows blue, just shake till you see blue, right? So once you see blue, you are good. <clears throat> so it depends on what you see on ready screen. That's the amount of, uh, that's the zone. That's the zone that you need to shake, right? To get your mega hit. All right, uh, this next function, uh, 
poor pub, pub mon and uh, mochi mon won't be able to use it this is the connect function basically hidden behind this you have battle and joggers but to clarify this time round, there are more options compared to the original device your battle options you're able to do battling within the device itself there's npc there are npc battles that are enabled if you if you're not <coughs> sure what that is you can look up the digimon color uh, advanced guide that i have it will showcase uh, uh, the feature of using the um, npc battle basically it's called battle quest so when you battle via quest you don't need another device to battle in the past if you need to battle and you need to get the evolution requirements going for battles you have to connect to another device if you only have one digimon there's no way you can reach ultimate level or mega level without cheating so now you are able to get the number of battles you need because they are npc battles so that's great that's a very good addition you can use the battle quest to battle against the digimon that's already on the device you can also use battle connect and by connect, you can connect to the, another Digimon Pendulum to battle or you can battle against the Digimon Color version 1 to version 5 Unfortunately, it cannot battle the old devices even though it's a two-prong just like the older devices it's not compatible that way you can only battle with color devices uh, Interestingly, you can also battle the upcoming yet-to-be-released Digivice 25th Color Evolution So, uh, another part of uh, this menu is Jawgrass, which I'm not able to show you right now but I can show you in the future in the upcoming logs that I do um, Jawgrass will allow you to Jawgrass with another Digimon So what Jawgrass means is Two Digimon that are capable of Jawgrassing If you put them together, they both evolve Having said that, that only happens if you connect this device with another device to Jawgrass They have added a new feature Which is the fact that you can Jawgrass against a Digimon that's sitting in your backup so that's great as well so um, that's something I didn't know so originally I only ordered one device and I was regretting it because I was like oh my god I forgot that this is a pendulum and a lot of Digimon is going to be uh, available only during Jawgrass so I ordered the other two not that I regret it but now that I realize that they have this feature technically I can raise almost all of the Digimon within this device by just having this device I don't need a second device other than those that require connection to another device to unlock so there's a special egg um, roster that is only available if you connect this to another but that's that only that's the only one evolution line that has that special requirement the rest technically you can obtain the digimon by just playing on one device right because you can battle against npc players you can joggers against a digimon that's in your backup slot having said that there's one downside of progressing against the Digimon in your backup slot when you do that the Digimon that was in the backup slots get consumed so it will disappear and you will just have only one Digimon in the active slot so in this device you can have up to two Digimon one that you see here and one in a backup slot and you can switch between the two anytime you want so let me showcase how it actually works right now um, so uh enough about the connection so you understand you have battle battle you can battle quest you can battle uh, against a connected device joggress you can joggress against a connected device you can also joggress against a digimon that's just sitting in your backup slot you have wash we have seen it um we have seen that wash uh, poop washing already um the last two icons we have lights lights is straightforward this is when your digimon is asleep so let me just show an example if it's time to sleep and it's supposed to sleep it will call you and tell you that it wants to sleep right it shows that z icon just go to light and put it to sleep once you do that it will turn off the lights personally i like to turn it off the light and then turn it on again um, to see it sleeping but unfortunately we don't get to do that because the moment you press light it turns on again so and it wakes up so too bad uh, we can't do that we can't do putting him to sleep and then just watching him sleep so the moment you put turn off the lights don't turn it back on because it will wake him up and about five minutes later he'll try to fall asleep again and if you didn't tend to him it will count as a chemistry. mistake so when he wants to sleep remember to turn off his light if you don't do it within one hour it becomes a chemistry. mistake so uh, there's this other feature called cold this is technically 
storage so basically it's to freeze him and say hey um, just stay in the fridge for a while don't let your evolution timer move I don't have time to take care of you right now so stay frozen and <laughs> I'll get back to you later when I'm available especially useful when you are working um, and then you have change so this is when you switch to your backup slot so currently I do not have any Digimon in my backup slot this is the only Digimon that I have so the moment I click change it's going to save him into the backup slot and allow me to hatch a new egg so we have a new egg here so I'm clearly going to be making a lot of um, undesired uh, actions here because uh, I'm not shaking that second egg which is a big mistake so I'm just going to reset my device and that's something you can do as well it's a great way to showcase so when you reset your device or if you start if you switch it off and you switch it on again you have two options to load the last data that you had or to reset and it will make everything clean again and the good thing about pressing reset is they will ask you are you sure do you want to do that and of course I will go ahead and say yes because I did not shake on the second egg and I want to make sure that I get optimal stats every time that's um, kind of crazy Digimon Tamer that I have. Alright, let's get down to shaking 100 times. We should be getting there. I'm pretty sure I'll get 100 times. I'm, I'm just trying to count, but I'm pretty sure I'm getting 100 times by the time it hatches within one minute. It hatches within one minute, so there's ample time for you to get to um, 100. So just gonna reset this and anyway I need to do the bug mod log after we finish covering all the features. We are almost there guys. Um, we have already covered lights. I think we are down to the last icon. Uh, almost there. Just gonna keep it up. And uh, once we hear the chime, we are good to go. And let's just redo this log. This inaugural log for Bartmon. Bartmon that's also known as Pubmon. Alright, and this is the little chime that I like a lot. Alright, we're gonna turn off the sound now because I like it that way. Um, we are going to switch the sound to oh, soft mode first so that when you turn it on, it's already soft. Uh, I'm also going to switch the brightness like I did just now. Alright. Okay, this is a softer color. And we have this, it's on its background, it's on its natural element. We're just gonna do that feeding again. Three, four, and we're gonna do the training. All right, we have red, and it's gonna be a guaranteed mega hit. Just like I explained earlier. Just watch out for the ready color. You should be good to go. All right, and if you get, when you get mega hit, uh, basically the strength meter goes way up. It goes to full. So if one training, you're able to get everything you need. Status doesn't really seem to show because it's four trainings, you get one effort hard. So that's how you look up on your effort progress, right? Your, your trainer counter doesn't count every single one. It, it, I, it counts, but basically it only shows up as a heart after you have uh, trained four times, right? So just take note of that. Um, the bandage icon, this is not relevant right now, but if it's sick, right? When you press the bandage icons, there are two options. One is sickness and one is injury. You get injured when you battle. It happens sometimes. It's a random thing. Um, regarding sickness, you get sick when your Digimon is overweight. And it's overweight when it reaches 99 giga. So just don't feed too much protein because it can fall sick. Um, and a sick Digimon battling with another sick Digimon. I mean, if you battle and connect battle uh, to another device, and your, your Digimon is sick you can guess what's going to happen to the other Digimon so it's a fun feature that they included from the OG devices as well I like that it's quite interesting okay and without further ado let's take uh, let's do the usual log this is the usual log format that I do for my devices you can look up my other videos I always do this we'll usually talk about um, the Digimon first while it's idling across the screen and we'll check out the idle animations um, 
I'm just gonna see its profile on digimon.net uh, and also talk about etymology and origin of its name because it's fun to know why they're named that way. And in this case, on this Digivice, we have Digivice. <laughs> on this Digimon, we have Pabumon. Pabumon basically is um, derived from uh, the term bubble. So Pabumon sounds like bubble, and obviously it is a Digimon that is based on bubbles. So it is a bubbly Digimon, um, full of bubbles. And its profile on Digimon.net is interesting as well. So while we wash off that poop, let's look up its profile on Digimon.net. Um, Bubblemon is a bubble Digimon that looks like a mere sea green bubble at first glance, but it actually is a totally autonomous creature with a plethora of expressions. Clearly, you can see it on the screen, right? It's jumping and having a lot of expressions. Pabumon's delicate surface means that it has practically no defense or prowess in combat and that's typically the case for most of the baby Digimon anyway. It creates infinite tiny foam clones from the pacifier-like object in its mouth. So because of the limitation of the device, I guess we can't really see the pacifier, but the sprite still looks great. Um, this ability was originally used to develop computer viruses, but its lack of life force made for poor implementation. So too bad it can't really develop computer viruses. Life is fleeting for this adorable Digimon baby. The adhesive bubble blow released from its body binds enemies, giving it a chance to escape. So that's cool. That is Bubblemon. Very cool. Very cute. And that's it. Uh, that's it for its profile. Let's take a closer look at its sprite animation. Let's give it a piece of um, protein here. This is how it eats. That's cool. Uh, let's see the training animation. We've seen that, but let's see it in close up. All right, this is guaranteed a mega hit. This will be nice. You can also press B to skip to the results if you don't want to see. It. That's his happy animation. We will usually document an angry animation as well, which is available if it doesn't get any mega hit at all. So <coughs> by not shaking, you will actually get a no mega hit and you'll get angry zero ah uh, that's his angry animation and that's it um in terms of sleeping we can't really document sleeping on bubble one because it doesn't really sleep so yeah this is how i usually go with my documentation i try to capture every sprite animation that it has aside from the idling the feeding the happy, the angry, the, the, the times where it's training or if it gets to battle, I will also capture the battle animation as well. Oh yes, one more thing, when it says no. Uh -huh, that's also another new one, so I forgot about that. Yeah, but that's it. That's it for uh, Babumon's log. So look forward to the future logs that will come after this unboxing video and after I'm done with my Baito bracelet, um, uh, Ryudamon and Dorumon Dim. Um, meantime, until we get to that video again, if you're interested, you can always check out the um, Vital Bracelet videos that I have or the Digimon Color version 1 to 5 logs that I have there. The playlists are all compiled so you can just look through them and see how it looks like and see if you're interested. And if you're interested, please feel free to like and subscribe um, and watch out. I hope that you enjoy the content and yeah, I'm just a crazy Digimon researcher that likes to document every single sprite. And I'm, I'm going to continue to do that until I run out of virtual pets. But that's it for today's unboxing and log. If you haven't already, please go ahead and blow some bubbles at the like and subscribe button from Bubblemon. And turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!